In this short video we'll just be introducing the concept of scalar and vector quantities and giving a few examples of each. Uh, so we'll start by defining them. A scalar is any quantity which has magnitude but not direction. A vector is any quantity which has both magnitude as well as acting in some direction. So if we give an example, an example of a scalar might be mass. So I have, for example, a mass of 80 kilos, or a book has a mass of a few hundred grams. But that mass doesn't act in any direction, it's just a property, it's just a magnitude. And so mass is a scalar. Other examples of scalar might be temperature. The temperature in this room is about 20 degrees, it's not 20 degrees left or 20 degrees right, it's just the magnitude of 20 degrees. So temperature is another scalar. Other examples might be a distance, might be density, pressure, wavelength, power, various other quantities you might come across later in the course. Whereas an example of a vector uh, might be a force. So I might exert a force of 50 newtons on something, but I don't just exert that 50 newton magnitude, I apply that force in some direction. So I might be pushing something or I might be pulling something might be going left or right or up or down or forwards or backwards. I apply that force in a direction, so it has both magnitude and direction, making it a vector. Another one might be velocity. I travel with some, uh, I travel at some number of meters per second, that's my magnitude, but I do it in a direction. I might be going north, south, east, west again. Similarly for displacement, I'm going to travel some distance, some number of meters, that's my magnitude but I'll do that in a direction. Again, I might be going north or left or right. Acceleration is another key one, which you'll come across in this first unit, and then there's various others you might meet later in those units. Uh, but for now, a scalar is any quantity which has magnitude, but not direction. A vector is any quantity which, as well as having a magnitude, also acts in some direction.